I did the everyday zip bag back in what is it January now? Got his big brother too. Thought I'd show you both. Gooch and thought I'd show you. Um, so Peak Design sent these bags over to me. Um, actually, this one they sent over to me so I could actually do some uh, video reviewing while I was at CES this year. Um, I really appreciate everything that uh, that that company makes. To be honest about it, um, but this is the Everyday Zip bags. This is the Everyday Zip 15 liter, and this is the 20 liter. Originally, I was going to go for the 20 liter, and then it actually worked out that the 15 liter tended to work better with being able to use as a personal item because it easily fit any airline's personal item and it worked great to be honest um uh if you watch that video i'll put that link down below where i talked about this one after i got back from ces um it worked great in the airport it worked great at both airlines that i did with very very simple tickets because they they don't allow you to even have a carry-on or anything with those those basic tickets on united and uh spirit you could only have a personal item, and, and Spirit didn't really check, but United really, I mean, they came out and made sure that my stuff fit, was within the weight, and everything. And this thing was awesome for that, because it easily fit in those guidelines. The 20 liter, um, they were happy to, I, I, I don't know about happy, but they were willing to send me over one of these to, so I could actually look at the comparison between the two, uh, and to see whether or not I actually think it would work. To be honest about it, as long as I didn't fill this thing to capacity, I think the 20 liter would actually work as well with most of those airlines. Um, no matter what, you gotta look at the weights, but you also gotta look at those those structure guidelines of how big it can be. Uh, and the big thing with this is it is a little bit taller than um, most of those guidelines are. But I, like I said, if you don't fill it to capacity, you know you can get a little bit of uh, movement in there. Would be an issue. Now this one you can see I've been using lately. Um, I have the uh, tripod bag for. Uh, well, the tripod I'm currently using that I'm testing out for Peak Design. Um, I actually have my camping chair. Uh, I take this to soccer games. Um, and if you've never seen the Click camping chair, uh, I did a video on my Camp Geeks channel. I'll also throw a link down to that as well. This is a fantastic chair. I love it. Um, but look, that aside, we're going by bags, right? Maybe the best way to do it, let's bring it a little bit closer so I can actually, so you can really see the difference. Because they're essentially the exact same bag. It just comes down to size, capacity, as well as weights. Not that bringing it that much closer, I guess, because these are bulky items, right? Um, if you watch the video, no, no, on both of these, um, you have, basically, you have a, a zipper at the top. Uh, usually that's where I keep mine. And then on each side, you actually have the zippers that come down to the bottom. Now on this one, I actually still have it kind of in the travel mode where I have the zipper down here locked. And the neat thing about these is they have these zipper uh, little catches that you can actually put through their little eye rings and essentially keep it so that somebody can't grab it. Or it, even if it's not just a theft type item, um, you can't hook it on like... Um, you know, whatever, or the seatbelt or something. It's bonded to the bag a little bit better. Um, but if you're not in that travel mode where you're really in, like, secure method, uh, the nice thing about it is you have a method of getting it from, you know, maybe just to the bottom corner of your bag. Um, but you can pull the zipper from either direction, right, and just open the side. Or you can take it all the way open, and while if you have the dividers in place, they are Velcroed from one side to the other. You know, you can flay this bag completely open. And it's the same way with the 20 liter. They're the exact same bag, just size increase, right? That's all it is. And so I have this one kind of with some, with some stuff right now. Uh, this one I basically have empty because I kind of move things back and forth depending on what I'm doing or where I'm going. Um, the, the 15 liter is fantastic for those really light loads, quick and easy, um, that you're not trying to cram everything in. You can easily get the tripod and stuff on this guy as well, um, but that's that's what the 15 liter bag looks like at least. Uh, to, let me shut this guy up a little bit. 20 liter bag. Now I already have this on here, and so, like for instance, when they designed their tripod uh, carrying bag, it's kind of built for this bag. So they actually have a, a secure strap 
that can actually secure these little eyelets, but it actually goes through the the actual uh, tripod uh, item there. So just to get that out, these actually just store down in here. Uh, but even if you're not doing the tripod, if you're carrying anything that's sticking out, a, a standard tripod, doesn't matter. Uh, this strap is attached in here. It actually can be removed if you don't want to use it at all. And it's fully adjustable. And then you basically just eye it between the two and you have a way of structured support of whatever you have. And then you just kind of jam whatever excess down in here, right? Um, I have, there's a, a lot of things that they, they come with. So like this is one of those, uh, one of their catches. Uh, you can put this on a camera. You can put this on your keys, doesn't matter. It's, it's anything that just basically attaches it to the bag. On both sides, on both the 15 and the 20 liter, you have the handles. So you can carry it from the side. Same handle that's on the top. Um, on the back of the of the actual bag, you have your kind of your um, pad for your back, but it is a pass through. So if you have your carry on luggage, it does slide on carry on luggage or any luggage handle for that matter. Um, both of them have that. There's, it's not specific to just the 20 liter. You know, you're also going to get it with the 15 liter as well. But like I said, everything in the 20 liter is just a little bit bigger so let me open this guy up so right now i'm using my camera right now but i still have my lens cap right here uh, but you can see the the everything that's in here even the the dividers are a little bit bigger than you're going to get in the 15 meter and maybe that's an easy way to showcase the difference between the 15 and the 20 is the dividers are a little bit bigger in the 20 liter and that's because it is a little bit bigger backpack um, and you can see that they're really easy to pull out right they're just velcroed in here but the nice thing about these dividers they're built for cameras right they're, they're built to take lenses and stuff and they have these pieces that kind of pop up that divide and so you can have compartmentalize your storage space one two three right or one two or the opposite direction right and you can change that at any time when you're actually when things are up you can see how you can actually um, rather than maybe I should show that rather than just put the one side up like this and actually compartmentalize space like that you can actually then sh uh, put like maybe one whole side up in half or maybe both sides up like this so maybe if you have something that's coming from the bottom of the bag all the way to the top you can completely uh, allow that to pass through and when you actually have the bag closed so you can see something like that right I can pass it through um, there we go how about that that's maybe a little bit better or if I don't do that I can lay that flat and it, you know my the top's gonna be here that's all com you know compartmentalizing however you need or want to do it it just sticks to the other side of the bag and while you're loading and I usually load with like one side shut um, from the side because I, I find it'll be a little bit easier. That's when you can change all these pieces up, right? I can split it apart and and change that that compartmentalization. Um, and that's depending on the camera, depending on what you're actually putting in here. Now these can be easily used without uh, cameras. You don't have to use them just for camera use. Um, they're fantastic for about everything. So yeah, that's the size difference at least between the 15 and the 20 liter everyday zip bag by Peak Design. One other item I did want to mention on both these bags is the on the back side we do have the laptop carrying capability or the or the tablet for that matter. The the small 15 liter you can easily get a 13 inch MacBook in or a full 12.9 inch iPad. Um, you're not going to get both of them. It's definitely going to be one or the other. You could probably put uh, a large the 12.9 iPad or a 13 inch MacBook and a smaller iPad mini, may, probably even a full-size iPad in here, uh, just the standard like 11 inch um, size. That's about as big as you get in there. On this guy, we can get the full 15, uh, point, 15 or 16 inch MacBook Pro in here, in addition to a full 12.9 inch um, iPad Pro. So um, I don't know if I'd want to carry two laptops in here it'd be a little, it'd definitely get a little thick but you do have this divider and it's actually on, on both of them you have your main depart compartment then you have a divider and you kind of have a secondary compartment which i still have stuff from the auto show in uh, but the secondary compartment in this guy doesn't go all the way to the bottom and then you do have a 
other component for like chargers or you know small things for uh, for your uh, you know accessories so it's it's kind of a padded space in there on this guy that same thing you have the the laptop carrying space you also have an additional space for uh basically for uh, adjusting the size and stuff like that they actually have velcro built into here for things but additional dividers and stuff so you have more laptop things in the the, the 20 liter and then you have just like this one you have this uh, magnetic off space that actually goes almost to the bottom as well uh, not quite to the bottom but it's a lot bigger and then you have your kind of accessory pouch there so if you're carrying a lot of a computer equipment or a computer and uh, a tablet a laptop and a tablet I would probably go for the 20 liter over the 15 if you're carrying just a tablet or a smaller laptop the 15 is going to do just fine for you so let's talk specs because it might be easier to know. Now you can pull this information up on their website. Um, like I said, 15 liter, 20 liter. If we go by dimensions, and that's gonna be, let's go by height. So how height this is, this guy's 16 and a half, this guy's 18 and a half, uh, or 42 centimeters, 47 centimeters. That's your actual, they, they go by centimeters, I just converted them. Um, width, and width, I'm gonna go by the widest, which is always at the base of the bag. The base is always wider. Uh, this is uh, 11 inches wide or 28 centimeters, 11 and 3 eighths, 29 centimeters. Um, that's approximate, right? Uh, depth. How thick are these guys? And these are not, these are, you know, standard depth. Of course, if you're putting something in there that's really bulky, it could maybe alter that a little bit. Um, we're looking at 20 centimeters or 7 and, uh, what is it, 7 and 7 eighths, just under 8 inches deep. Um, eight and a quarter inches or 21 centimeters. Eight is that cutoff, I think, for most personal items. So, as long, like I said, as long as you're not packing this thing crazy full, you should be able to get it within those eight inches. Um, they give weights, and there's two weights that we're going to talk about. Weights with and without dividers. So first, without dividers. If I was to take these dividers out, just use this as one big compartment bag. We're just over two and a half pounds. We're at 2.9, just almost to three pounds with this guy. With dividers, just under 2.95 pounds, so just under three pounds, th almost almost three and a half, 3.4 pounds is what this would come out to be. So, and they also do offer these in four different colors. This is the black bag, obviously you can see it's black, right? They also offer what they call ash, which is their gray. Um, ash is the only one that has kind of a two-tone where it has uh, the black zippers and stuff that kind of stand out. Uh, you have uh, Midnight, which is a, a blue, like a navy, a dark blue. And then you have Bone, which is kind of a, an off-white, right? Like a, a yellowish type white. So I've used the Everyday Zip, or, or, or I should say multiple Everyday Bags. I've used the Standard Everyday. I've used the um, the, the Messenger type. The I, I've, I've had probably, I think these this might be my fifth and sixth Everyday Bag that I've used of Peak Designs. Um, something around in there and there are benefits to all of them there is not one bag that's king in, from all of my use of their bag now first of all Peak Design makes a fantastic product and their bags I'm having a hard time finding a bag that's as good I, maybe I'm wrong and if I'm wrong comment below and let me know what I'm missing because these bags are fantastic um, specifically with people with video cameras or cameras you know in general um, and I kind of go between, back and forth, depending on what, I'm, what my flavor is. Um, but the Everyday Zip, the nice thing about that is it's very sleek. It's streamlined. There's not a whole lot of things hanging out on it. You're not going to have something that's going to catch on something. For traveling, it's fantastic because it seals it up and it can't just pop open. It really can't. And um, while I haven't really traveled so much the 20 liter, uh, I've been going to a lot of uh, soccer games, stuff like that, ca carrying stuff back and forth. And it's fantastic um, and then this has kind of been my my traveling companion and uh, I have a trip coming up in a couple months um, and I might be taking the 20 liter I haven't decided yet uh, it all depends on on my carry-on status and whatever so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions or comments please co post those below you can head over to techgooch.com you can actually contact me directly through there subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give this uh, video a like and uh, a thumbs up and then uh, head over to share this guy as well if you can so if you have any questions for me let me know like i said otherwise thanks for sticking by to the end and uh as always 
We'll see you back here on a future video review right here on TechCooch. See you soon. Oh, <laughs>